Welcome back guys. I'm so sorry I haven't uploaded a video, but tomorrow I have a full detail and that video is going to come up Saturday. So stay tuned for it. This is my setup. I connect it to the hose and it goes all the way through here. And now we're going to be connected through the hook. The hose reel. This, the hose was cut so I just stick the other end inside and put a clamp on it. And you can see it's not leaking or nothing. And then my hose reel, it's a 50 foot, so you could go pretty much anywhere. Like you can see right here, it goes pretty far all the way to the driveway. And it's lightweight. <clears throat> and then right here, it enters through this hole. And it goes all the way through the holes. It comes out here. And then I just put some tape here take a hold it in place and then when you press it it shoots the water like a regular extractor and then the hose connects to a rigid shop vac 14 gallon and 6.0 peak horsepower and does the job right I'm gonna show you right now in this dirty carpet I got I made it dirty just for you guys so when you start stretching
right here it's just like a any blow compressed air nozzle and i'm just connecting it through this little hose with the clamp on and then in the end of it there's a little nozzle from the spray spray gun from the pressure washer and then it works perfectly it doesn't leak like you see it does not leak and it works perfect right right away when you pull the trigger i think it works pretty good man and right now it's centered perfectly what do you guys think leave a comment down below Now my trailer setter for all the people that were asking. This is my little trailer, five by eight. Right now it's dirty because we've been detailing some some construction vehicles in the dirt, so my trailer is pretty dirty right now. So let's get started. Right here I have some um, microfiber pads for exterior trim and tire dressing my 25 foot uh, extension cord my safety thing from the street my 15 inch and 15 foot cord um let's put it here and also i have a 100 foot cord for when i need longer distance and this is some of my air fresheners, some bubble gum, some ocean thing, some volcano stuff, some clean cars, some coconut cream. This is my generator. I believe it's a 3500 watt, I believe, or a 5000. I couldn't remember. It works pretty good. Starts right away. Uh, this is some of my products I used from Claymore. The wire wheel acid, the, that one works pretty good on. Dirty brake dust, and then all my my compounds and my liquid waxes. They have pretty good stuff in that store, you know. They're pretty cheap. Here we have two buckets, one for the rims and one for the body. And my ga my water tank gets 125 gallons. Okay guys, the this is gonna be for the winner of 500 subscribers. Thanks everybody for the support. And don't forget there's gonna be another giveaway at a thousand subscribers. So it's gonna be better than this one. So subscribe, stay tuned, and thanks so much for the support. We're gonna be putting on the link and start getting a comment. Let's see who's the lucky winner. And it's Noel Adams. Noel Adams, I'll be contacting you. And stay tuned. Thanks for the support, guys. And don't be sad. This will be a bigger and better giveaway. A thousand subscribers. Thank you, guys. And right here's my 20 foot uh, vacuum hose. It works pretty good. It gives a long distance. Uh, all my water bottles that I have all my chemicals on and all of them are name. It can, I buy them like that in the store for my wires. And here we have my wheel brushes for the deeper the barrel is. And all right here are my brushes. And this is from Amazon. I love these brushes, you know, $15, but they're pretty good. These ones are my cheaper ones. I got them for like five bucks, I believe, but they're still holding up. All these chemicals are pretty garbage from Chemical Guys. They're trash, to be honest. My foam gun. Solution finish still works pretty good on faded trim and plastic. I recommend it. Someone. 
and when it's really cold I use my glove that covers all the way to my elbow when it, you know when the morning is when it's super cold I use it and on my brushes I put a magnet here from heart freight and in the back of this uh, things I put a little metal but you can see that the screw doesn't come um, doesn't come all the way through so it's safe and just put it back there and it's perfect and I think it's convenient for me Here we have our fender wheel brush. It gets deep inside the fender wheels. All right, here is my shop bag from Walmart. It was like 50, 60 bucks on Black Friday. My whole hose wheel with 50 foot hose and my cover freight hard pressure washer. Right here I keep my newer towels in these bins underneath my box for all the interior purposes. And on this one, I keep all of them for the windows and some for door jams and rims. And in these veins, they don't really get wet. And a lot. So they protect them pretty good. And if you have your own setup, you have to have a two-way. One for the pressure washer and one to fill up your bucket and your bottles. It'll save you time. That was, well, that's pretty much it for my setup. Other than my my polishers are over here. Um, I keep a 15 millimeter throw, Rupus. Some of my pads. And then right here, my, I just got this uh, SK Adams mini polisher. And it's pretty awesome. I haven't really pink right any cars here with it, but it's pretty cool. Sorry for all the shaking, but it's hard with one hand. And right here we have our out um our atoms mini polisher three inch and this machine is pretty powerful and it has a long cord and also have it right here for my headlights so it's perfect for my headlight restoration and for small areas to polish and that's it for all my setup guys oh i almost forgot i added this little thing because when i'm in a phone can in the car I always lose my nozzle tip and I'm looking everywhere for it so I added this little thing to my trailer. Once you take out the tip, I put it right here and I won't lose it again and I know it's there <laughs> and it's little things like that it helps out. And then I just get it back and put it back and I will never be looking for it again. <laughs> 